Hello friends, today our topic of discussion is quadratic equation and inequation expression like that. So before we start any problem on this chapter, we will discuss what is this. Okay, the first is that quadratic expression, quadratic, quadratic expression. What is that? Quadratic expression. When we express something like that, a x square b x plus c in that form, where a b c are all constant, okay, and a is not equal to zero. So this expression, in this expression, we can say there is one unknown variable. And the maximum power of this unknown variable is 2. Here the unknown variable is x and maximum power of this unknown variable is 2. This expression is called the quadratic expression. And we remember that the coefficient related to that x squared is never be 0. So this is our quadratic expression. Next we are coming to what is quadratic function. What we know about function? When there are two variables and one variable can be represented by the other. Okay. That means there are two variables. One is y and another is x. So with, uh, when x is independent variable and y can be represented as the uh, in the uh, in some form of x that is called the y is independent variable and this is the representation of function and when our representation will be of the form y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c where a b c are constant and a is not equal to zero this expression is called the quadratic function. Here we uh, here the independent variable, unknown variable is x. Maximum power of x is 2 and dependent variable is y. y is represented as a quadratic expression of x variable. Okay, this is called the quadratic function. Now we are coming to quadratic equation. Okay. Quadratic next topic is quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? We have already known what is quadratic expression, what is quadratic function. Now we are coming to discuss about quadratic equation. So when equation means there must be an equality sign. So when there is our expression a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. This is called the quadratic expression equation. This is the quadratic expression and that is equal to 0. Okay. So, yeah, and the similar way this there a b c are constant and a is not equal to 0. Okay. And next is the quadratic quadratic inequation. What is inequation? That, that means there doesn't exist the equality. Instead of equality, there is inequality. So inequality means there must be either greater than or less than, not equal. Okay. So when our expression will be x square plus bx plus c either greater than 0 or a x square plus b x plus c less than 0. These are quadratic inequation. The similar manner a b c are constant and a is not equal to 0. So these are all quadratic expression, quadratic functions, quadratic equations, quadratic inequations. Now we will learn how to solve this, manipulate this, okay, uh, solve it to find the value of unknown variable. So, to, we will take various problems and from there we will find the value of x, okay.
Here we learn how to manipulate quadratic function, quadratic equation, quadratic inequation. Here we have taken one example. Look at the first example. This is obviously a quadratic function when y is represented as a function of x. So for this, what we will do? We will take, we can see here the three terms can be divided by 4. So we take minus 4 outside. So what is left here? We are left here x squared as we have taken minus 4. That means we are dividing each term by minus 4. So there is here x squared is minus 4 is taken outside. So this is x squared is there. And now here is minus 5x. As we have taken minus 4, if we divide 20 by minus 4, we are left minus 5. Minus 5x. And here, minus 4 is taken, is if we divide minus 16 by minus 4, then, then we are left here plus 4. Okay? Now, we know minus 4 and if we factorize it, we will get x minus 4 into x minus 1. Okay? If we factorize this portion. And this is the manipulation of this quadratic function. So y equal to here minus 4 into x minus 4 into x minus 1. Now if in place of function we are given quadratic equation that means that is equal to 0. So in the similar manner we also here take minus 4 outside and we are here left x square minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. In a similar manner, minus 4x minus 4 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. In this case, we divide by minus 4 both sides. We are here, we left here, x minus 4 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. If we divide by minus 4, then we are left just this. And from here, from here we know the multiplication of these two is 0 means either x minus 4 equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So either x equal to 4 or x equal to 1. So from in this way we can get, from we can solve quadratic equation. Solve means to find the value of unknown variable here this x. Okay. So now we are coming if in place of equation there is inequation, no equality. In this, in this case uh, there is less than equal to that means two cases should be considered one is equality sign is there one is less than sign is there. Okay. So in a similar manner we get here also minus 4 into x minus 4 into x minus 1 less than equal to 0. Okay. So in this case as there is inequality sign so if we divide by minus 4 both sides the sign will be reverse. Okay. That means the uh, uh, less than sign will be converted to greater than as we divided by minus 4 both sides. So we are left here x minus 4 into x minus 1 greater than equal to 0. We divide by minus 4 both sides. You have to remember this and be very cautious about whether in case of inequality which sign is given. Okay. If minus is given then the sign here is reversed. That means if less than is there, it will be converted to greater than. If greater than is given, it will be converted to less than. Okay. Now from here, how we will get the value of x? Now we were going to discuss about this. Okay. So here. minus 4 into x minus 1 that is greater than equal to 0. 
So we can say that there are two turning points. One is four and one is one. At these two uh, points, the value of this expression is zero. Okay. So here we can get one may be may happen x is greater than equal to four or x is less than equal to four. Another is x is greater than equal to one or x is less than equal to one. Okay. And at the point of four and one, the value of this expression is zero. So from here we can we can say that either x is greater than equal to four or x is less than equal to four but greater than equal to one. Okay. And another is x is less than equal to one. So so three cases may be arise. Okay. So one is x is greater than equal to four, and another is x is less than equal to one. Another is x belongs to between one and four. So you see here, when x is greater than four, this part is positive, and this part is also positive. X is greater than four. Okay. This part part is positive. This part is positive. So multiplication must be positive. It satisfy here. So one point is x is greater than equal to four. One range is there. And another is you see if x is less than equal to one. So if x is less than one, this must be negative. Okay. X is less than equal to one. If we take x is one, one minus four. That is, oh sorry, one. If we take one, this this becomes zero. We can take zero also. So zero minus four, zero minus one. So both of these are become negative, and multiplication of two negative numbers is positive. So it satisfy greater than zero, greater than equal to zero. Okay. So x is less than equal to one. Its range must be x is less than equal to one. But what happens if x belongs to this interval? X is greater than equal to one, and x is less than equal to four. If x is less than equal to four, this become negative. Okay, x is less than four, this become negative. And if x is greater and this part become positive. Okay, x is greater than less than four. This become negative, and x is greater than uh, one but less than greater than one but less than four. This become positive. So multiplication of this become negative. But here there is that must be positive. So this range cannot be happen. Okay. If x belongs to this greater than equal to one and less than equal to four, multiplication of these two never be positive. It become negative, which doesn't satisfy our range. So our range is x either x is greater than equal to four or x must x is less than equal to one. These two range satisfy this in your. Inequation. Okay.